What if I told you that productivity was an intrinsic cause? It was something we can control and depending what actions we take during the day can actually impact how productive we are with our life. According to Utopia, 85 to 90% of students procrastinate daily. And we all do it, we all do it to some degree, but it's something that we do need to work on and we do need to look at and we do need to try to reduce because it is having a real impact on our lives. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video where we strive to be 1% better than yesterday. So this is an interesting fact, 85 to 90% of students procrastinate daily. But what if I said there was an easy fix to it? There was a, there's a solution that can just change this statistic so easily that it's going to surprise you. And it's something that if we actually put effort into and we put mental time into improving, we can start improving our productivity, which will allow us to enjoy our free time more. Now, obvious, now, obviously, there's a lot of factors that can contribute to this, looking at short attention span, looking at distractions around the workplace. But there is something above all of these that doesn't only have an impact on our productivity, has an impact on our relationships, on our happiness, on our life, on our fulfillment in life. And that is our mood. Our mood, and depending on how we feel and the way we process our thoughts, has such a huge impact on the productive, not only productivity, but our moods, our environment, how the way we feel, the way we are. The way we feel through our mood is gonna have a direct impact to our action. And so if we are sad, our actions we are going to take are not going to be aligned with productivity, with working hard, with being focused. And we can say that with being happy. Once we are happy, the complete opposite occurs. When we are happy, we are fulfilled. We get work done and we are happy. And so we must be looking at how can we improve our mood. So this is something that I've been thinking a lot about recently and I wanted to find some statistics, some sort of thing that can back up this idea that our mood has a direct impact on our producti productivity that in the top 10 countries of the happiest populations in the entire world, eight of them are also the most productive. So we can relate this to because they do work they enjoy and they actually enjoy doing it, they're gonna be more productive because they enjoy doing it. And we can also view it as because they are happier in their life, because they get to see their family, because they have free time to relax they are more happier and because they're more happier they're more able to be productive with their work but in both scenarios we're looking at our moods we're looking at the way we feel so i have broken this down into two simple steps using greek mythology and using the workplace and the environment and the schedule to be put on ourselves today but first i want to share you a quote from marcus aurelius very little is needed to make a happy life. It is all within yourself in your way of thinking. Practice the idea of positive thinking. Practice the idea of your thought patterns make you feel more positive. We can view stuff to be against us or we can view stuff to be part of life. And it's nothing you can change about it. And so we must focus on this idea of control the controllables. We must focus on this idea of let our thought pattern be a positive one. And so the second method is to implement more breaks into your timetable. You see, you tell yourself to work from 9am to 12pm or 9am to 11am and then have an hour rest and then 12 to 4. And now this is the typical work week in college and school at work, but there, there, there's something completely wrong with having this schedule and this idea of working for three hours straight because your brain thinks of three hours of work it's got to do. Your brain is thinking about the long, the tiredness, the pain you're going to endure and the amount of focus required 
to sit down and work for three hours. And ultimately, it's just gonna cause you to procrastinate. It's gonna cause you to waste time and it's gonna cause you to get less work done. And so what I suggest is implement more breaks into your day. Let's say, let's work for half an hour. Let's have a 10 minute rest. Let's work for another half an hour. You see, the best people in the world, Kobe Bryant, Michael Jordan, Chris Ronaldo, whoever they are, they don't maximize the time they have, they maximize their focus. And by maximizing their focus, they inevitably create more time for themselves. So if we maximize our focus, giving ourselves short breaks in between each half an hour section, our brain will want to focus, it will want to work because it will know the 10 minute rest it has covered up shortly. And treating your brain like this will allow you to focus, allow you to zone into the work that you need to zone in on, and ultimately will allow you to work harder and get more work done. So with that said, I hope by the end of this video you've understood that mood plays an important part in productivity, and it is a deciding factor whether we will work hard, whether we won't work hard. So let's start focusing on our moods, on our thought patterns, and let's start implementing more breaks into our timetable. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have gained some wisdom from this video, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.